I often hear how Revit is useless for interior design or how hard it is to create interior design things in Revit. Therefore, I decided to create a simple tutorial and explain you how you can, on a very basic and efficient way, create a fully parametric family of uh, wall moldings or wainscoting in Revit. Then. I'm also going to show you the difference between type and instance parameter for this particular family, but you can take that example for the all other Revit uh, things. And also you are going to see the power of 2D profiles while you are working with the 3D families in Revit. I have a Revit metric architectural template opened and the first thing I'm going to do is just to create a simple generic wall. And now in order to be on a correct path we need to choose a proper family. And for uh, wall uh, placed moldings I'm going to pick uh, metric generic model wall based. Okay, so once this is open, we should go to the placement side. But before we do that, let's just check the name of this reference plane. So the name is Beck and that's the one we are going to use. Okay, let's go to the placement side. And now I'm going to create a couple of reference planes. The first one I'm going to name as a seal height. And then the top one as a top. This is going to be left and this is going to be right. Then I will assign a couple of parameters. So we'll make those two equal. Then this one will create and we'll name this as a seal height. Then from seal height to the top, we'll create a new one and we'll name this one as a height. And the last one is going to be this one and let's name it as a width. When we are done with this, let's just check how those parameter works and if all is fine with them. I just place those numbers. Okay, so it seems fine. And now if you look at one of the examples, we should determine the way how we are going to create this in Revit. So we have a profile here. And then we have our path. So the profile goes along the path. The way to do that in Revit is to use a sweep tool. So I'm going to use a sweep tool and sketch path. So now it's important why I was going in a plan view and why I was looking for a name of the reference plane. So that's why I'm going to pick this one name as a back. And I'm going to pick our reference planes and I'm going to lock all our path lines. Now let's just trim them. And just click yes. So the next thing is just to create a profile. I will make it to look very basic, something like this, and we'll just click yes. I'm going to save as the family and now I'm going to load this into the project and we'll open a 3D view. So there I'm going to place few of them. We are not done with this. Uh, the thing I don't like is the type parameters. So what does it mean? It means that if I go there to edit type and change the height, let's say for example, it will affect all of them. Maybe some of you would like to have type parameters into the family, but I think that some of you prefer to have instance parameters. So I'm going to go back to the family and then we'll go to the parameters and I'm going to change them. So I'm going to click here, edit parameter. And instead of type, I'm just going to click instance and I'm going to do for all three of them. And let's load family into the project again and just go override the existing version and its parameter values. If you go to 3D now, 
we can see that we can now play with the dimensions of each of them so we don't need to go to edit type and our changes to affect all three types we can just select one of them and let's say the width of 1.2 meters seal height 450 so you see that was the idea of those instance parameters. There is one very important thing uh, for this case, and that's the 2D profiles. And I will again go back to the family. And what I would like to do, I just would like to create 2D profile families. So it will be a separate one. And then to load them into the family file, it will allow us to change the profile within a click. So let's look how I'm going to do this. The first thing I'm going to the file and I will pick a proper family for that. So it's going to be a metric profile. Then there, I'm just going to create two random profiles. And I will just save as, save as this one as a, as a profile one. By mistake, I saved this one as a profile two, but it doesn't matter. The next one will be named as a profile one. So I will delete this one and I'm going to the line and I'm going to, let's say 20. And I will name this one as profile 01 because by mistake previously one I saved as profile 02. Okay, we will close it and then I'm going here to the insert and load family. And I will load firstly profile 01. And we'll do the same for the profile 02. And now if we select our sweep and go to edit sweep select profile I can pick one of those two okay so I'm going to rotate this one for 180 and it seems fine we'll just click okay and we'll load this into the project we'll lower it again so you see that our trims they do not look the same but if I go again back to the family and make a new one from here so let's say save as and we'll name this at uh, this one as 11 and now if i would like to change the profile i don't need to go to the edit sweep i can just go here in a properties part and then under the profile i will just click profile 02 so you see how this looks like and then i'm just going to click save and i'm going to load this into the project we'll go to 3d and we'll just place this one over here so now we have two separate families inside the project. That was basically it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed and you can find this one useful. And please, if you would like to support our work, subscribe to our channel and like the video.